Hello, in this video we are going to take a look at the Cupertino segmented control. Basically a low system that is split up into many buttons as you want. When you click it, you can do something. And what is commonplace on iOS devices and other devices as well, it's almost like a tab system. When you click it, it shows you know some content, some buttons, some text, etc. You click one of the other ones, it basically hides the stuff that was you know currently shown and then it shows the other stuff but the functionality is totally up to you i'm just going to show you how to implement the segmented control as an extra task i want you to go a step further and maybe implement sort of like a page system that i just mentioned so to add this it couldn't be simpler i've got it in a you know in a safe area container column but it's a child you can add it however you want cupertino cupertino segmented control and for this we have two parameters that we need to put in. As an extra task, I want you to experiment with the border color, press color, selected color, and unselected color. But we're only going to be dealing with these for now. And here, we are going to have the children for the segmented control. So for this, because it's a map, you need to put int widget. And in here, you just put, put your widgets now. So if I put text, and I'm gonna say section one. Oh, sorry, I only put zero colon. And that's basically the index. And again, this could be a lot more, you know, essentially complex, but for this part, you probably just want text. And put one, two, I'll change this to two and three. So let's save this and see what we get. We get an error, and that's because I forgot to implement the on body change. Because this is also another required one. So it's the T for the template. And I'm just going to print out two. Print out two. And now, shouldn't get any errors. There we go. So if I click one of them, we get zero. Click the next one, we get one. If I click the last one, we get three. And if I click it multiple times, it'll print it at multiple times okay you might be thinking you know what what's with the color what's with the you know the underlined or like the text decoration what is with the size obviously depending on the rest of the application you may or may not look like this i've created a textile previous to this video and it just basically makes the text color black removes the decoration and just load the font size so i'm going to add this to the text so i'm just going to do style and it was t style and that's it so i just need to add that to all of them so let's reuse it and there we go as you can see it looks a lot better now and that's really all there is to it so as an extra task the few things i want you to do is essentially create it so you can actually have it and have like maybe like you know different buttons here and hide and show them the other thing I want you to do is modify the colors inside like the text color and also add a bit of padding because, you know, add a bit of spacing on the edges. It doesn't look very good at the moment. But apart from that, that's really all there is to it. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.